in the design and analysis of a structure, it is possible to have errors and inaccuracy. The error and inaccuracy can be quite dangerous as it may lead to under design of structure that cause undesirable damage of the structure. It is sometimes wasteful, especially when we design the structures to be over conservative. These are some causes of the error and inaccuracy, which include the design assumptions and inaccuracy of calculations, possible unusual increases in the magnitude of the actions, unforeseen stress redistributions, and constructional inaccuracy. To cater for the error and inaccuracy, partial factors of safety are being used. It is basically the tolerance applied to the material strain and also the action. In another word, there are two types of partial factor of safety. One is meant for the material, another one is meant for the actions. The partial factor of safety for the material is the partial factor of safety for the material is used to be divided with the the partial factor of safety of material is used to divide the characteristic strength of the material so that the design strength of the materials is always smaller than the characteristic strength which in the case of the error and inaccuracy the characteristic strength of the material is not exceeded. The other type of partial factor of safety is for the actions. It is used to be multiplied with the characteristic actions to amplify the effects of the load adding on the structure. With that, the structural element is designed against the more conservative value, which in the case of the error and inaccuracy, the structure does not fail. This slide shows the design compressive strength and design tensile strength of the material. The characteristic strength of the concrete are given here in the mode of characteristic cylinder strength which represent the concrete grade and also characteristic tensile strength. The partial factor of safety is used to divide the characteristic strength so that it gives a smaller design strength. There is another factor here which is the coefficients for the long-term effect and unfavorable effects of the loading. The recommended value for the factor is 1.0. If you would like to get a more precise value, you may refer to the national annex, which normally will range between 0.8 to 1.0. The partial factor of safety of the materials is given in the table here in Eurocode, which differentiate between concrete and steel element. Due to higher consistency and quality control, the factor of safety for the steel are normally smaller than the concrete. The value here differs by their design situations. There are persistence, transient, and accidental. Persistence means the normal usage, transient means the temporary conditions, and accidental means an exceptional conditions. You may use the partial factor of safety for material for the ultimate limit state accordingly. 
This table shows the design working life of the structure. By definitions of the Euro code, the service life for a temporary structure is about 10 years. As for the common structures is 50 years. As for monumental building structures, bridges and other civil engineering structures, the design working life will be 100 years. This design life later will affect your calculated cover for the concrete. For more details, you may refer to the course Reinforced Concrete 1, Chapter 6.